Happy Thursday, everyone. Hi, TGI Friday Eve, TGIF Eve, <laughs> TGI T. That sounds wrong. Anyway, hi, how are you? Happy Thursday. I hope everybody's well. Um, sorry for the late start. It's just one of those things. It's been one of those days. It's been a long day. So um, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to get our, our, um, text message going and then we will we're gonna get our we're gonna get our food on how's that sound okay where is my twitter here it comes here it comes here it comes <laughs> Okay, let me find my... Hi, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for, looking for our show. There it is, okay. Let's send our tweet. How is everyone tonight, are we good? I'm sorry, I can't see comments yet, so that's why I'm being kinda quiet. My text message is going crazy right now. Okay, let's. We're gonna do chicken nachos tonight. We're gonna do load. We're gonna do chicken nachos. They're um, yeah. We're gonna do chicken nachos tonight. How's that sound? <laughs> Everybody asked for what we make at Super Bowl, and this is what we make at Super Bowl. So we're gonna do chicken nachos. All right, cooking chicken nachos with April at Mama. Lo loves food on Facebook. Yay. Okay. That went. Let's pull up our comments so I can say hi because I feel lonely when I can't say hi to you. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love you, Kelsey, but I'm online. Okay. Look at that, I just touched my hair. Are y'all grossed out now? Okay, where are we? Mama loves food. There we are, there we are. Hi, Ooh. hi Kelly's on, yay. Kelly, are you doing the sharing? Hi Sherry, hi Carrie, hi Amber. Thanks everyone, everyone likes my hair, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I got it done today. So if Lacey's on, everybody loves your work, Lacey. Thank you, thank you. I had to get it done a second time because I have... So I wash my hair like once a week and I always air dry it. Like I never ever do anything to it. So my hair is like crazy healthy. Um, so when I got the treatment, when I get the treatment done, it always it doesn't always take the first time. So I had to go get it redone, um, which is fine. I knew that I... It's, it's just one of those things. I know. I know about it happens it's not a big deal but anyway so I got it redone today and she flat ironed me while I was there which I love I wish my hair was always like this it'll be more like this now because 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 it was treated today and I'm excited about that hi Heather you guys all look beautiful too <gasps> isn't this cardigan cute I'm gonna show it to you up close it's super cute I got it at Target today and I'm in love with it and I totally overpaid for it but I love it look at all the colors it's like super unicorny can you see all the colors in it it reminded me of a unicorn so that's what I got and of course I also picked up my shirt now I must stay in bed and yes, I'm wearing leggings. They are flowers and they're gorgeous. Flowers are my unicorn, P.S., in case anybody was wondering. Two for one. What's two for one? Hi, Colleen. Oh, my hair? Yes, 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 yes. No, I don't. Yeah, yes. Not two for one, but um, it's one. Like, she doesn't charge me to do it again if it doesn't take. No, 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 no. Sometimes it just takes two treatments. Okay, let me do this sharing real quick and then we'll get going. So we're gonna do chicken nachos tonight. They're inspired by a local restaurant here. Um, did I do the Brazilian blow? I don't know. I don't know if that's what it's called. The carrot, it's the keratin treatment. Is that Brazilian? I don't know. It keeps it from being super frizzy for a while. Cause I got frizz issues, man. It's healthy, but it's frizzy. Okay. 
because, 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 because,
No, drink with me. Angela, let's just pretend it's vodka. Pretend it's a vodka and soda water, right? This is what I'm drinking vodka and soda water. There you go. Does that make you happy? <laughs> Cheers. Okay. So these chicken nachos are inspired by a restaurant we have here in Florida called Miller's Ale House. I don't know, maybe it's also in other states. I have no idea. Um, but we have a few of them in Florida. And I've actually heard that they changed them now, but they used to have these chicken nachos that were called uh, loaded chicken nachos, and they were super reasonably priced. It was like 12 bucks. And they would give you this pile of chicken nachos that just, I mean, would literally feed four adults. It was just massive, massive pile of chicken nachos. Um, so we probably won't make it quite so massive because it's just my husband and I who are gonna enjoy it later. But I'm gonna teach you the trick to making them super yummy. Diane does not like it. Oh, that's okay, honey, I'll drink it for you. We have Sunny's barbecue for dinner. Ooh, my that's my husband's favorite. My husband's favorite barbecue is Sunny's. Okay, so we're gonna start with a rotisserie chicken. You can totally make your own chicken if you want. You can, you can, you can. If you wanna be on Martha Stewart, by all means, I will root you on all day long. I did not. I'm using a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken because because, 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 Virginia, I love you. You're beautiful, thank you. Um, yeah, because it was a busy day and I worked all day and I just got home at uh, seven o'clock at night. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a pre-cooked chicken. You could even use canned chicken if you want. I will not judge you. I'm gonna grab another bowl out real quick. Okay. Sunny's barbecue. I can't. I, I like Sunny's barbecue. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but I definitely don't have that impassioned feeling toward it like my husband does. He's like all things Sunny's. <laughs> Pre-cooked chicken rock. Yes, rotisserie chicken is the best. It's so good. Hi, Joy. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. I'm so glad you're here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my son would say. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to use canned chicken if you don't want to. Nobody's gonna make you. Nobody's gonna make you. I'm just telling you, I'm not gonna judge you. What the heck is canned chicken? It's just like canned tuna, but it's chicken. It's actually not bad, it's really not. We make our taquitos with it and they're delicious. Hi, Claire. Aw, oh, you guys are so sweet tonight. Gwendolyn loves the white kitchen. Thanks. We bought this house uh, about four years ago, and it was original. It was built in the fifties, and it was original, and it was um, in desperately need of help. Gainesville, Florida. Judy, my husband is from Gainesville, Florida. He grew up there. <laughs> my hair is driving me absolutely mad. Um, so what was I going to say? Yeah, so we gutted it and we put, this is an Ikea kitchen. And those of you who are thinking about doing your kitchen, let me tell you, I don't know if Ikea still does it, but I think they do. Um, but they do, they did anyway, a once a year, they did a once a year huge kitchen event where your entire kitchen, everything you bought, if you, per if you spent over like $1,000, everything you bought would be like 20% off. So we waited, we got all our stuff ready in our like virtual cart and we waited and we got such an amazing deal on this kitchen. It's not even funny, like obscenely good deal. And then we put it all together ourselves. <laughs> we did hire someone to hang it, but we put it all together. Uh, but it was fun, yeah. So that's my kitchen. It's Ikea and we love it. And it's been four years and I have no complaints. It's been wonderful. I am going to have those chicken nachos for Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, these are this. That's what we we we, we love. Blah, we love making nachos for football. Hi, Mary from Sandy Hook, Kentucky. Melissa, I love the way the sweater looks with the shirt. Thank you. Isn't it cute? I just love it. I'm. I saw it. At, um. Uh. I saw it at. What do you call it? Target and I just had to have it immediately. I also got um, a shirt that says Merlot, I'm here, <laughs> which 
because it's really cute too. Maybe I'll wear that on Tuesday. I have a set of the cabinets in my barn. Awesome. Uh, my Facebook stopped working. No, we can't have that. That's no good. Okay, so the trick to these chicken nachos that makes them so yummy, so yummy, is that you actually mix the chicken once it's all shredded up Love the first glass bowl you use. Thank you. Um, this one is from Target, and they actually still carry it. I saw it, and I bought it years ago, but I saw it, funny funny that you mentioned it, I noticed it like two weeks ago. I saw it, and I go, oh my gosh, I had no idea they still carry it. Um, so this one is actually still available at Target. Um, and then this one um, is just a Pyrex, Pyrex brand bowl. I was the manager at a restaurant wearing jewelry rings, harbors, many germs, huge no-no, just say it. Yep, keep it to yourself. Um, so, what was I saying? I'm excited for these. You should be. They're delicious. They're delicious. What are we doing on Tuesday? On um, Tuesday, I'll work during the day. Maybe sell some leggings. Have lunch. Do a cooking show in the evening. What will you be doing on Tuesday? <laughs> Hi, Mandy. I'm glad you're here. We are making uh, chicken nachos uh, in preparation of the big football game coming up. I mean, I'm not going to save them for that, but everybody asked, uh, what do we make for, what do we make for Kim is the Kitchen, please? It's cool. Don't worry. I'm sure she was just being nice, and if she wasn't, well, whatever. We got better things to worry about. Uh, so... Yeah, I got lots of requests for what do we do for super for. I don't think I'm really supposed to say the word that that game. I don't know. They've got lots of weird rules about it, so I'm trying not to say it. Um, I, but they want to know what we want to we do for the big football game every year, and chicken nachos is one of my favorite things to make. So that's what we're doing. We're doing chicken nachos, and these chicken nachos are inspired by a restaurant, a local restaurant here. And hi, Patsy. Hey. How are you? Um, they're inspired by a local restaurant here that makes delicious chicken nachos. All right. Da -da -da. Hey, Jana. Okay, sorry, trying to catch up on. No, Kim, you're fine, you're fine. We're, I'm just teasing. Guys, be nice to Kim, be nice to Kim. It's fine, we're just teasing, sorry. Sometimes my snark doesn't translate well. Kim, we love you, stay, please enjoy the show. I'm glad you're here. I know you're just trying to help. Don't worry about it. We love you, girl. I'm assuming, I assumed you were, you were just being nice. I didn't assume you were being cranky. Okay, so hi, I'm drinking seltzer water. So we're going to um, shred this really good. Why is my phone in bowls? Just so it tips up so I can read the comments without lifting it up constantly. So we've just got a rotisserie chicken that we're shredding. Why these chicken nachos are so good is because you're gonna pour in a bunch of salsa and it makes it super moist and gives it a bunch of flavor. Um, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Hi, Regina! We got a good crowd on tonight, yay! Yay, yay, yay! Is, what is written on my shirt? Namaste in bed. <laughs> blender works great. Yes, you could totally use the blender, but we're just gonna use our fork. We're gonna we're gonna keep it low tech. What's Tuesday? The day after Monday. How are my kids so quiet? Hi Tina! 
It's nine o'clock here and my kids are little, so they're sleeping. Although I'll warn you, my dad is on his way here and my husband's gonna come back from the gym soon. So if you've got animals, if you've got dogs, be prepared within the next half an hour or so. My dogs are gonna freak out. Sorry, my hair's driving me crazy. You're after my heart. Oh, I'm glad so many people like chicken nachos. They're so good. I thought it'd say mama stay in bed. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. I love that. I think I need to commission someone to make me a shirt that says that. Or maybe I'll just like draw, get some white out and make that an M. <laughs> game day. Yes, this is for game day. Well, inspired. Seriously with the hair comments. Oh, it's okay. People can be cranky with me tonight. It's okay. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Mike. I'm in uh, Central Florida. I'm about an hour north of Mickey. Letting my daughter stay up past my time to watch you. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle's daughter. Okay, we're nice and shredded. And now we're going to grab some salsa. You can grab whatever kind you want. You can make it yourself. We have some really, really good salsa recipes on the website. I, hi, Jessica. I have, um, I have a Bichon and a, we think it's a Maldi Poo, but we're not totally sure. <laughs> She's a rescue. Hi, Kim. I'm so glad you're here and enjoying it. Has he seen my hair? Uh, my husband? Yeah, he saw my hair. Okay. So we're giving it a nice mix, lots of salsa. <gasps> so yummy, so yummy. Hi mom, mom's on. I'm 20 minutes from the big mouse. Hi Lauren, I'll wave, I'm waving to you from across town, Lauren. <laughs> Hi Haley from Zanesville, Ohio. What can I make with turkey bacon and potatoes? Um, I don't use turkey bacon, I don't know. Um, maybe you chop it up. Put, some, put, put it on a tray with some olive oil and put it in the oven and roast it. That would be good. I was so bad today and tonight I bought Velveeta and Quesa. Um, Velveeta, was, Velveeta is amazing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I'm going to bring it over and show it to you, okay? Here you go, look. It's super shredded with your salsa in it. It's going to make it moist and yummy so you don't... You know what I hate when you get chicken nachos and you've got this gorgeous looking, like, I mean, it just looks picture perfect. This looks like from a magazine. You've got a chip with your, with your chicken and your melty cheese and you pick it up and you take a bite and you're like, the chicken is totally dry, right? Who wants dry chicken on their, yes, Amy, this was a rotisserie chicken. Nobody wants dry chicken on their chicken nachos because that's just gross. It's gross. It makes you upset. It makes me upset. And so this takes care of that issue. There is no, there is no, um, you have to worry about it. And then I like to also put in some cheese mixed in with the, um, hi Sadie from Guana, how are you? Um, I like to put some cheese and mix it in too. Hi Sally, how are you? You used to live in Englewood, very nice, yes. Um, my sister's name is Sally, spelled differently, but also the same name. Roxanne, I'm about three days from the big mouse. <laughs> Buffalo, very nice. I've never been to Buffalo. Hi, Jessica, thank you. I also have a sister named Jessica. I just added the salsa to the chicken. I did, I shredded, I took a whole rotisserie t chicken, I shredded it up, and I added a can, a jar of salsa. Uh-huh, and now I just added about a cup of cheese to it. Um, and you guys, oh, I just got, I got my arm, my shirt wet when I washed my hands. Um, amen, Valencia, amen, never go wrong with a big bag of cheese. What was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. I only like dry chicken, anything else grosses me out. What? What? I love you anyway, but I disagree. <laughs> Hey Vince, how are ya? Okay. So now we're gonna, gonna begin the layering process. I feel like this is gonna be a short show, guys. I apologize in advance. I didn't really think this one through. Hi, Valerie. 
I did, yes, I took the skin off. I took the skin off. How far am I from Fort Lauderdale? About three and a half hours. Maybe three and a half, four hours, somewhere in there. All right, so we're gonna make a layer. We're gonna make a layer as our bottom layer. Can you use low fat cheese um, if you want it to be disgusting? I'm just kidding, use whatever cheese you want. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And then we're going to, ready? I'm gonna get my gross and germy hands. Yep, that's gonna happen. And we're gonna put pile, 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 pile. Cause also, you know what's also super annoying when you get this beautiful pile of nachos, right? You're like, it comes to the table and you go, wow, look at all the nachos and cheese and it's beautiful and I need this in my life. And then you take like the top three and those are the only three that have good stuff on them. That's just wrong. That's wrong and horrible. And no. So you gotta do the layering. You gotta do the layering. It's really important. Hi, Debbie. Is it Bobby or Debbie? It just cut off. Um, we are making chicken nachos. Chicken nachos, baby. Chicken nachos are what's happening. Hi, Constance. Hi, Diane. All right, so. We're doing our cheese. You can use any cheese you want. I'm using the four cheese blend from a local Publix where shopping is a pleasure. All right, and then we're gonna do our next layer. Ready? And every layer gets a little smaller because you wanna make a tower, right? I am nasty using my hands. Oh, I know, I'm so disgusting, aren't I? I'm like totally the worst. The worst. You should definitely not watch me. I'm so terrible. Because, 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 because. 1.3K people, yay! Um, so guys, you can always find my recipes in the description. So what you're gonna wanna do is share the video. Click share. It'll go to your wall. And when you look at it on your wall, you'll be able to see um, all the information about what we're making tonight. So I would not want you to be without that information. That would be totally terrible. Also, we're on, hi, by the way, hi. I haven't introduced myself from the beginning and there's lots of new people on. So I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And we make all kinds of easy, yummy food. We make everything from um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, appetizers, snacks, all kinds of stuff. Virginia, my home is nasty. <laughs> you guys are hilarious tonight. Um, yeah, and we have a text message alert system. If you want to get uh, text message alerts when we're on, go ahead and text follow space live show MLF, all one word. You don't spray or foil your pan. Um, I know, and that drives my father nuts when my dad comes and visits. And he's like, why don't you foil your pans? I'm like, because I don't know, I can wash them? I don't know, I just don't, I just don't. It's not one of the things I do. Um, anyway, hi from London. So, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so Kelly will put in the comments. Kelly's my assistant, everyone say hi Kelly. Kelly is wonderful. Um, Kelly's gonna put in the comments how to do the text message alerts. Hi, Christy and Jillian, how are you? Hi, Katie, I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Aw, hi, Trisha's one-year-old, how are you? I'm waving at you. So yeah, we've been doing this since March, so almost a year, is that crazy? It's so much fun, I love having you guys. This is my home, this is not a studio. Please don't yell at me that the cameraman sucks, because that's me. Um, I'm, it's just a tripod. This is my job. This is what I do for a living. I know, kind of a crazy thing. Where did I get my cute shirt? Target, today. So go after the show, not now, and get it for yourself, because it's super cute, right? So much fun. Look at this pile of nachos. How excited are we about this pile of nachos, you guys? Obscene, obscene. Vince uses his hands for many things. I don't know if I want to know that. <laughs> I don't know that I needed to hear that. Okay. Uh, 
and you could totally, if you love jalapenos, by all means, throw some jalapenos on there. You like black olives? I love black olives. My husband thinks they're, just, thinks they're disgusting. Um, but if you like black olives, throw some black olives on there, baby. All right, I'm going to throw it in the oven. Uh, we're going to want to do the middle rack so nothing burns or gets crazy. And we're going to let it, we're going to let it roasty toast for a while. How's that sound? Let's set the timer for like 10 minutes or so. No, oh, we'll probably check it before that. Hi! My son, Sebast Sebastian ne Chevy Nitro 5 Williams Syndrome, waving from Wisconsin. Hi from Wisconsin! Bobby, I look forward to you being here. Thank you. <laughs> I would add more fixing olives, peppers. Yes, so this is just the basic. This is the basic. My husband doesn't like olives. Bless his heart. He doesn't like olives. Um, and my kids don't like helping you. So we, we go basic. But then we like to... Um, but then we like to... Why is my... What is happening here? My computer's being weird. Um, I like to set out toppings separately. So because we have five kids. So... What happens is, um, not everybody likes the same thing. So we do kind of a basic thing, and then I'll put out jalapenos, I'll put out um, green onion, I'll put out olives, and uh, we can kind of yank a pile off onto our plate and then add the toppings to it. I think this looks so good. I don't know. I keep watching because I'm making me hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. My husband is hooked on on the roasted cauliflower. Isn't it so good? It's so good, you guys. <gasps> Hi, Lynn. Thanks for being here. Hi, Shelly from Delaware. Shelly Ann does not like jalapenos either. Fair enough. Fair enough. See? But that's why you can do the basic, right? And then give everybody, like, you know how you go to a Korean restaurant and they put the little pickles out? Just like that. Put it all out. Let people do what they want to do with it. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the oven, sorry. Somebody just asked about the oven. I'm sorry. Um, Kelly, will you link to the uh, blah, blah, recipe, please? Please, please, please. Uh, 425. The oven's got to be at 425. Which one? I don't know. Where is it? I thought it was four. There we go. Okay. I just, I just put it on the right temperature. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. I'm just drinking. Tonight, I'm just drinking seltzer water. I'm trying to be good. Do you ever use nacho cheese? Um, not for this recipe, no. But you could. I mean, it would, I just feel like it would probably be too runny for this. So, let them put their, yeah, let them put their own toppings on. Makes it easy. So, let's go ahead and, um... Right after I said let them put their own toppings on, I do always like to top it with a little bit of green onion, just because it's so pretty. It's so pretty with green onion, isn't it? Isn't it green onion pretty? I think green onion's so pretty. Will you be adding more cheese when it's done? I wasn't planning on it, no. But you can add more cheese if you want on yours. I won't stop you from doing that. You can add as much cheese as you want, doll. All right. Nothing added to what? Nothing added to what? What are we asking? Do I have gas or electric? I have electric. In Florida, you almost never find gas. I don't know why that is, but I'll tell you, the first time I saw a gas stove, I was like, what? People have gas in their house? This is terrifying. Now I realize that Florida's the weird one, but I didn't know that at the time. Hi, Dana. So yeah, guys, if you want the recipe, Share the video to your wall. Just click share. It'll share to your wall. You'll be able to watch the replay later if you want. And it'll also have, um, you'll be able to see the description with the, um, with the video info and the, and the recipe link. Hi, Pragna. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys? How is everybody tonight? Are we good? Do we have any good weekend plans? My kids, it's it's uh, flag football season, so we will be at the soccer fields all weekend with my kids. Tammy doesn't like gas stoves. Would beans be mixed with the chicken make the 
the chips too soggy. I think if you drained the beans, it would be fine. I wouldn't. Put, I would definitely drain the beans first. But um, yeah, I think that would be okay. Am I growing green onions in my windowsill? I am. Georgia is afraid of gas too. Yeah. The, yeah, I, I had no idea like gas was a normal thing all over the country until until I went to college. Who knew? Who knew? Roxanne cuts her green onions with her kitchen scissors. That's because Roxanne is smart and April didn't think about it. <laughs> green onions. Yes, green onions in the windowsill. Yeah, because you buy them at the grocery store and they have the roots attached. So you use them, then you stick them with water and they regrow a few times. Hot in Australia. It was warm today here, too, although we're supposed to get a cool front, so it's supposed to be in the uh, high of 70 to tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. So excited. Hi, Jill. Thank you. Oh, no, the video stopped. X out and come back, sweetheart. My top in and my cardigan are both from Target, and I got them both today. My leggings are from LuLaRoe. What? From my living room. Guys, we are not doing... Um, we're not going to do a LuLaRoe show tonight. Instead, what I'm going to do, we got our um, Valentine's Day leggings in. So what I'm going to do is, Amy got her mystery leggings today. Yay! Jessica's from Altamont. Altamont is very close to me. Um, so what I'm going to do today is, after the show, I'm going to take some pictures and put them on the um, Mama Loves LuLaRoe page. If you're interested in purchasing LuLaRoe, if you want, we, we sell it. Or if you just want to have fun with our, we do lots of online shows over there too, um, where I make a total butt out of myself. We do a lot of singing. It's a little bit more LuLaRoe-y than LuLaRoe. Um, anyway, tangent much. The... Um, so we usually do live shows. Tonight we're not going to do a live show. We're going to try something new because I like trying new things. So we're going to do, I'm going to post pictures of outfits and legging sets and all that fun stuff on the wall. And we're going to sell that way. We're going to see if that works. If it works, that's wonderful. We found a new exciting way to sell things. If it doesn't work, then maybe we'll have a live show tomorrow. Check your nachos. Not yet, baby girl. Not yet. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. Anyway, does anybody have any questions? <gasps> You're welcome, Brianne. Yeah, I got it. I got it today. I got it today. It was overpriced, but I still love it. Yeah, and it's like unicorny colors. Can I show you? I'm gonna show you it close again. It's so pretty. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Look. Can you see? It's like pinks and yellows and green and white. I'm in, I'm in love with it. I know, Cindy, cold front 70. It was 87 degrees last weekend. 87 degrees in, in January. What is that garbage? Garbage is what that garbage is. Anyway, Kelly, can you put a link to the LuLaRoe page up um, for those who want um, Valentine's Day leggings and outfits tonight? Go ahead and put that up. I saw that shirt at Target. They didn't have my size. They have every size of my Target. I'm not your friend. Oh, but you are my friend. <laughs> can you make these in the microwave I would not make these in the microwave no so will you do a pop-up show at my house in winter garden sometime Lauren I don't do pop-ups um I just don't I don't have the equipment for it I don't we we store stuff in um bins between shows so um but if that changes I'll let you know Please don't take offense, but how do I stop the text messages? I have too much of a LuLaRoe addiction. Um, go back to, you should be able to scroll back to the first text message and it tells you how. I think you just text the word stop, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you just text the word stop. It's cold here, what? You could use, could you use buffalo sauce instead of salsa? Sure, it would give you a different flavor, but yeah, that would work. Keep it nice and moist too. Are you going to be, but oh, is Vince gonna buy his Valentine's Day leggings? I don't know. The video just stopped, can I see it later? Yes, the, um, click share to your wall, and as soon as it's over, it'll you'll be able to replay it, and you'll be able to fast forward to, um, to where you wanna be. A pop-up show is when somebody brings all their merchandise to your house, um, and then you have a sale at your house, but I, I don't do that. We do all online selling. So stop. What is Sonia? You're not texting me. You don't, you don't put text stop in the comments. You text stop to the number that you're getting your stuff from. <laughs> I don't 
no, no, stop what? What are we stopping? I'm so confused. We've got 27 seconds left. In-home salsa is where is that? Sales. Oh, in-home sales is where is that? What's your plan for Super Bowl and when are you cooking? We're going to do chicken nachos. And I think we're going to my friend's house. I'm not sure. Usually, this will be the first year in like 10 years that we go anywhere. We usually have a party here. Let's go ahead and check this. Holy moly, this looks beautiful. All right, I'm gonna turn the broiler on. Now, beware, if you do this, just be careful um, because it can go very bad very quickly. So it says 9.22, I'm gonna give it literally one minute. Will you have any kids V-Day leggings? No, I'm so sorry. You're killing me with the stops. Why is everybody saying stop? I don't know, what did I do wrong? Yeah, you could totally do barbecue chicken nachos with barbecue sauce and um, like red onion and what else? Cheddar cheese. Oh my goodness, that would be delicious. Maybe some bacon. Me too, no live show. How can I talk? <laughs> what do we, when making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, why do you put the bread? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich however you damn well please as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Is it going? Yes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. How are we doing here? Look how pretty it is. Look at that just ridiculously delicious pile of nachos. Are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me with this? It's amazing. Pioneer woman mitt. Heck yeah, it's a pioneer woman mitt. This kitchen is all Ikea and pioneer woman. Woo! There goes my phone. I adore the pioneer woman. I'll tell you a personal story. My third son was in a bad accident years ago. And the pioneer woman sent me a personal message. She saw on Twitter that he was in an accident and she sent me a personal message and saying that she was thinking of us. And she hopes he gets better. Isn't that the nicest thing ever? Like, I didn't know her. Not personally. Nicest, nicest lady ever. Seriously, go buy her stuff. She's amazing. Okay, can we talk about how amazing this is? This is happening right here. <gasps> what is happening? It's so good. It's so good. Now, yes, I could have totally done it on foil, and that would have been smart, because then I could have just transferred it to a plate instead of having a hot tray. That probably would have been the smarter thing to do, but I didn't do that. I can only think of so many things at once. One of the things I'm going to eat when I'm done with the Whole30, I know I'm supposed to be on Whole30 right now, but it's not really working out so well this time. Can we talk about this for a minute? Let's just talk about this for a minute. How gorgeous is that? So good. So this is, um, yeah, so this is the Ale House knockoff chicken nachos recipe. And it's damn good. You need some tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes would have been good. I forgot to buy tomatoes at the market today. But yeah, tomatoes on top would be good. But like I said, what I usually do is we do this, and then we have bowls around. So we'll have jalapenos, we'll have more salsa, we'll have sour cream, we'll have, um, you know, you can have corn, you can have beans, you can have um, whatever you want, whatever you want on it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a bite of this amazingness. See, look, look, look. See what happened? I pulled it from the middle and it still has chicken and cheese on it because we did the layering effect. Mm. Mm. Hi, Jessica. So, yeah, this is ridiculously amazingly good. Look at that. See? Pulled it from the middle. Loaded. Loaded. avocados we could put some guacamole on the side right I just need, I need my green onion though mm. the world is right at this moment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah tell me what toppings would you serve with that because I would normally have like jalapeno sour cream salsa black olives chopped tomato that's really, that's basically what we would have. Tell me if any, somebody said beans they would do. What else would you do? Mm. 
You're welcome, Francesca. Thanks for being here. Hey, Jessica, we just did loaded chicken nachos. Super yummy. Hi, Melissa. No, that's all for tonight. I know. It was a little bit of a shorter night. It was. So yummy, though. Mmm. <laughs> Alana, yes. It's a rotisserie chicken. So we didn't use the whole bag. We didn't use the whole chicken, but if we do, if we did the full recipe, it'd be the whole chicken, the whole bag. A rotisserie chicken, a jar of salsa, cup of shredded cheese, all mix it together. Then layer nachos, chicken, cheese, nachos, chicken, cheese, nachos, chicken, cheese, all the way to the top. Put it in a 425 degree oven right smack in the middle for 10 minutes. Um... Ooh, shredded lettuce, pico, yum. Um, yeah, and then you're look at this. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then we were just talking about what toppings we would put cilantro, lime, and corn. Yes, cilantro is a good one. I love cilantro. Are you guys on the cilantro yay or the cilantro nay train? Tell me. Hummus. Interesting. Interesting. Ranch or blue cheese, garlic. All right. I'm eating my hair because it's like right here. Cilantro, yay. Me too. Cilantro is delicious. Heather says, yay. Maria says, yum. Hi, Stacy. Um, somebody asked what kind of cheese. I used, uh, what did we use? Four cheese Mexican blend. You can use whatever you like. I would, um, if you don't have a Mexican blend, maybe like a Monterey Jack. You're welcome, and layering is the only way. Because layering means, you know, you don't want to go to the, okay, there's two things that are really, really important about this recipe. One is mixing the salsa with the chicken. Because the worst thing you can do, well, there's two horrible things. One, the first worst thing you can do when you get a bite of beautiful looking nachos, is take a bite and you're like, the chicken is so dry, right? It's like this cheesy, beautiful pile of mess, and you put it in your mouth, and the chicken's dry. Horrible. So that's why we add the salsa. It keeps it nice and moist and yummy and gives it flavor. Sour cream and chives, yum. Um, and then the second thing that's super important is, you know, you go and you get your giant pile of nachos. It's so delicious. And you eat the four on top, and then you realize, now you've just got a pile of plain chips. That is not acceptable. So that's why you gotta layer. You gotta layer, you gotta layer, you gotta layer. And that way, you've got amazing yumminess throughout the entire thing. It's like a nacho lasagna. It's the best thing. Where is the sour cream? It's in my fridge. It's in my fridge. Let's see. What are we gonna do here? See? Look at that. Look at that. Right from the bottom. Covered in stuff. So good. So good. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. We need lime. Lime is delicious. Feta cheese on nachos. That is an interesting, interesting story. Jalapenos for Rosario. Refried beans for Laura. Hey, Veronica from San Antonio. I was born in San Antonio. Come cook me some food. <laughs> So good. Thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> Virginia would use Doritos instead of plain nachos and buffalo sauce instead of salsa. Interesting. You'll have to tell us how that comes out. Shoot a picture. Guys, if you make my food, I would love, love, love if you post it on the wall at Mama Loves Food. Show us a picture of it. Tell us how it came out. Hashtag me on Instagram. Hashtag Mama Loves Food. M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D. Hashtag Mama Loves Food. Find me on social media. I am Mommy Named April and everything. Yes, I used to be a mommy blogger until I realized I'd rather talk about food than my kids. Um, so find me. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on 
Pinterest. I am all over the internet. Type at mommy named April and you will find me in all of those places. I would love, love to hang out with you there. We are on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. making fun, easy, simple food. Uh, we have a long format show, so we do the entire recipe from start to finish. So there are no mysteries. There are no magic of TV where you put a bowl of batter in the oven and it comes out a beautifully decorated cake. No, you're going to watch that cake almost fall like 16 times on my show. It's going to happen, and you're going to see us get through it, and you're going to know to yourself. You're going to say, so if she can do it, I can do it. It's true. Self-taught, no culinary school. You can do it. Anyway, so I'm going to, um, I did get another keratin treatment, Molly. Um, I'm going to hop off. I'm going to clean up the kitchen. And then I'm going to start um, putting pictures of Valentine's Day leggings on our LuLaRoe page. So those of you who are interested in purchasing uh, leggings and outfits tonight, head on over there. Mama loves LuLaRoe, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-L-U-L-A-R-O-E. R O E. Um, Kelly can put a link in the um, comments. Also, if you share this to your wall, you'll be able to see the description and there's a link in there as well. Um, so yeah, we've got about a hundred pair to sell. So let's see if we can make that happen. Cheers, Joe.